Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about the series expansion topic for limits and continuity. Series expansion topic is very very important for JE uh, and in this video I will try to give you a very good overview about series expansion, different formulas and few examples which will hopefully give you a good idea about how to use series expansion to solve limits and continuity problems. So what is series expansion is basically whenever you have functions which you probably know you can actually expand them uh, in powers of x and that is very useful when you try to solve problems for limits and continuity. So I will just give you an example uh, for a few examples I will write down and you can remember these formulas. The rest of the formulas you can always look up in textbooks but I will still uh, summarize the, the main formulas on the board. So e raised to the power of x for instance is given as 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial and so on log of 1 plus x is given by x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x 4 by 4 and so on log of 1 minus x is given by minus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus x 4 by 4 and so on uh, sin x is given by x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x 5 by 5 factorial minus x 7 by 7 factorial and so on. Cos x is given by 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x 4 by 4 factorial x 6 by 6 factorial and so on. And lastly, tan x is given by x plus x cube by 3 and there are some terms which I generally do not like to remember but I just remember tan x is tan x plus x square by 3 and so on. So these are some in which you basically expand exponentials, logarithmic, sin x, cos x in terms of powers of x and how is it useful, how is it useful for us to solve the problem. So let us take a very easy example of trying to solve the problems related to uh, 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 limits and quantity. So I will start with a very easy example just so that you can get an idea of how is this useful and how uh, you can solve this and this is something you already know but I will just try to derive it using a series expansion and then I will go into main prop proper problems where we can solve the problem. So let us start for the first example. So uh, we have been given the problem has been given to us as limit x tends to 0 e raised to the power of x minus 1 by x. We already know the answer to this problem uh, that the answer is that uh, this is equal to 1 but can we derive it? Can we derive the formula? So let us use series expansion to put in terms of e raised to the power of x. So if we substitute as e raised to the power of x as something like this. plus so on minus 1 by x then this is equal to and this is and this is nothing but and hence the answer is 1. So this is you can derive this uh, because the higher powers of x will basically go to 0 and uh, it will not be really required for you to uh, expand this basically you can just this will go to 0 and the answer would be 1. So there is something that we can learn from this uh, simple exercise is that whenever you have whenever you have limit x tends to 0 whenever you have limit x tends to 0. zero lowest powers of x will determine the answer right because the lowest power in this case was x is x raised to the power of one uh, and hence that will really determine the problems because the highest higher powers of x won't matter because x is tending to zero. 
so let's do more real type of problems. This was just to give you an idea of how to s use this. Let us do problem, uh, one more problem, really understand. And the problem is limit x tends to 0. e raised power of x sin x minus x minus x square by x cube and we have to evaluate the limit and we have to evaluate the limit uh, and now if you think about this problem and if you think about in the context of this statement which I made here that the power which will re should determine should be the lowest powers of x and the lowest power of x you see here is 1 and in the denominator you see x cube. However, this has not been expanded yet. So, what you would really hope is that x and x square will get cancelled because you would want that there should be x cube power here and higher powers of higher than x cube here to get a fi finite limit and not something like x square by x cube or x by x cube because x by x cube would make this denominator uh, higher in powers which would mean 0 is in the denominator and that will go to infinity. So, what you would want is that these terms should get cancelled and then you should retain the powers of x cube and higher powers would not matter. Okay? I hope that this makes sense. It probably would make sense once you start putting in the value. However, when you see a problem like this, if you put x is equal to 0, direct substitution, this is 0 minus 0 minus 0 by 0. So, it is a 0 by 0 form that is clear. Then you cannot directly see any form it is, it is very hard to see for you to make it a problem uh, of sin x by x type or anything like that. It is pretty, pretty difficult for you to do something like here. So, it is the natural thing to do is series expansion. It is not a classical problem where you can directly see a type. right? So, what we will do is we will series expand and the important part here is what you should series expand till what point you should do series expansion. So, we want to do series expansion till x cube because higher powers in x cube would not matter higher powers than x cube would not matter. So, let us write here 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on sin x, sin x, x, x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x 5 by 5 factorial and so on into minus x minus x square by x cube. Right? So, now we should start rather than solving it, expanding it will take a lot of time, we should just start collecting what can all, what all can create powers of x. If you really clearly see only thing which can create powers of x is multiplication of 1 x with this x. So, there is only 1 x here. What all can create x square is this x with this x because x square will become x cube uh, and this will become x cube. So, all which all can create x square is multiplication of this with this. So, this is x square what all can create x cube. x cube can be created by multiplication of 1 with x cube by 3 factorial right? and x with x square by 2 factorial. So, there is multiplication of x cube is 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial and then there will be higher powers, higher powers of x minus x minus x square and it should have happened that minus these this should have cancelled out which it does and then you can easily write the answer as this factor. So, the limit is 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial which is nothing but 1 by 3. So, I hope that you are able to understand this problem and solve this using series expansion. The idea, the idea is to retain the powers till x cube and the higher powers would not matter and beautifully the smaller powers of x get cancelled out and you can get the answer uh, very quickly. Okay, let us do one more problem and then we will close this uh, topic. And the next problem that I want to solve uh, is a limit x tends to 0 cos of sin x minus cos x. by x is power of 4. Again, the uh, we can clearly see that this is a classical if you put x is equal to 0 cos 0 minus which is 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 0. So, 0 by 0 type problem uh, and this is a very classical problem 
uh, of uh, series expansion idea we should retain the power still uh, x4 however the problem here is that we already have sin x uh, inside this but we should still try what we can do so what we should try to do we should think about this that if you expand cos of sin x it will be 1 minus sin x by 2 factorial uh, sorry sin square x by 2 factorial and I st stop uh, stop here because if you think about this sin x in itself uh, will have uh, powers of x x and x cube and if you square this that will become uh, uh, if you square this this will become x square uh, and x x4 so that one combination will come here and if you have plus sin 4 x by 4 factorial here then the power of x4 will come from the x term uh, will come from the x term and m more than that and nothing will be really important similarly so i hope this makes sense so this is think the sin, sin x has x and x cube only after that that's too high to go because we don't want more than anything more than x4 so if x and x cube if you square this you will get x square x6 and x4 so you will get you, you are fine here and if you do this x and x cube if you s take a power 4 then this only this would really uh, x raised power 4 the least term would really matter and, and nothing else will matter and similarly here you will get 1 minus x square by 2 plus x4 by 4 factorial and so on divide by x raised power of 4 okay divide by x raised power of 4 uh, and if you uh, I mean basically you can simplify this you should try to uh, write this as 1 minus x minus x cube by 3 factorial whole square by 2 factorial plus x only x cube is too high x4 by 4 factorial minus 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial okay uh, and you will you, you can very you can see uh, you can already see that one will get cancelled out and so would uh, so would x square will get cancelled out uh, x square will get cancelled out because there will be x square from this term that will get cancelled out uh, and for for the so all you need to do uh, sorry here it is x raised power of 4 and then you have to compare the powers of x raised power of 4 4 and if you think about this there is a minus 2 into 2 by 3 factorial uh, into x raised power of 4 and 2 by 2 gets cancelled I mean you have to if you are a little confused you can try to uh, you, you can try to see that this will basically become 1 by 1 by 3 factorial from will come out from here plus 1 by 4, 4 factorial and 1 by 4 factorial will get cancelled out so the answer should be 1 by 6 the answer should be 1 by 6 uh, I'm, I'm not going to show the details please practice this problem on your own uh, but I hope you will still get an idea of how do you series expansion to solve problems basically you try to compare the lowest powers of x and you try to expand only till the point you will get the meaningful powers of x and beyond that you won't really need the powers so i hope that this video was useful uh, and i hope to see you in the next video uh, in which we'll be going through advanced topics of limits and quantity thank you